Hey everybody, yesterday you may have seen my video about Beta Beto comparing Trump to the Third Reich and defending his comparison by simply lying about the things that Trump has said. One of the things that Beta said was that Trump compared immigrants to an infestation. And of course, this is not true. Trump actually called MS-13 gangs an infestation. One of the examples that I used to show that the media keeps purposely misrepresenting what Trump said was a year ago when they claimed he called immigrants animals when he was actually talking about MS-13 gangs. Wouldn't you know it, the next day, Twitter explodes with claims that Trump was calling asylum seekers animals. And of course, they're using the exact same deceptively edited footage from over a year ago. You heard me right, they're using the exact same deceptively edited video from over a year ago that was already debunked. We have people coming into the country, or trying to come in, we're stopping a lot of them. But we're taking people out of the country, you wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. And we're taking them out of the country at a level and at a rate that's never happened before. Now here's the part of the clip that our so-called free press is purposely hiding from you. Also, take a look at how CBS News titled this clip. It's downright Orwellian. We'll take care of it, Monica. Thank you. We'll, there we'll could win. be an MS-13 gang member I know about. If they don't reach a certain threshold, I cannot tell ICE about them. Yeah. We have people coming into the country or trying to come in. We're stopping a lot of them. But we're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. You would think that all these supposedly highly trained principled journalists would remember this or at least do a little bit of research before they took to Twitter to warn everybody that we're on the verge of another genocide led by Donald Trump. I'm not even exaggerating. Take a look at what some of these nut jobs in the media said. Joy Reid, a supposed journalist from MSNBC, said asylum seekers, quote, aren't people. They are, quote, animals. This is particularly frightening language coming out of a person vested the power of the presidential office. The problem is Trump never said anything about immigrants or asylum seekers. I want to know at what point did Joy Reid hear, quote, asylum seekers. It's never spoken and yet it's right there in her Twitter post. Proving once again that Joy Reid is a political propagandist hack and she should be ignored. The fact that she still has a job at MSNBC after this and plenty of other lies just shows the quality of journalism you're going to get over there. And then we have, of course, the disgraced Dan Rather, who said, The president liking human beings to animals is despicable. I've seen this playbook before. Words weaponized into bloodshed. His sneering rhetoric must be denounced. All who remain silent stand on the side of an insidious and dangerous scapegoating of our fellow human beings. Nope, he was just asked a question about MS-13 and called them animals. Just a reminder that this is Dan Rather, a guy who attempted to sway a presidential election using forged documents the night before voting was to take place. Notice the wording that Dan Rather uses here. Yes, it's technically true that MS-13 gang members are human beings, but it's pretty obvious that he wants his readers to think Trump is talking about immigrants. And it's a false premise to claim that Trump is dehumanizing human beings by calling out violent terrorists as animals. This is a classic drive-by tactic. They just want as many people as possible to think that Trump is talking about immigrants and it's working. Some of these Twitter posts that I'm going to show you have millions of views. And just skimming through the comments, you can see the hatred that it's generating. Just look at some of these responses to these media and Hollywood people who are claiming he's talking about immigrants. I wish his diet would take its natural course and finally plug up an artery enough that it kicks it. John, thank you. How all of us are feeling. What a complete waste. I love it when you lay out the facts. Thank you, John. So much hatred from one person towards anyone non-white. He should be charged for abuses against humanity. And not to repeat myself over and over again, but they already used this video once before to make the exact same claim, and now they're just doing it all over again. The next one is from alleged journalist Anna Navarro, who tweeted out a picture of a child and said that it was a picture of a journalist comforting a small boy on the border that was shot in the throat by one of Ortega's thugs in Nicaragua. This little boy is seeking asylum in the United States. His name is William. Trump calls him an animal. Wrong. This woman actually calls herself a journalist and actually gets paid at CNN to do that job. Does she not know that CNN reported on this back in 2018 and even had to admit that his quotes were taken out of context? The AP even tweeted out a correction in 2018 saying that they had deleted a tweet from late Wednesday on Trump's animals comment about immigrants because it wasn't made clear that he was speaking after a comment about gang members. It wasn't just fake journalists making fools of themselves. Washed up actor John Cusack tweeted out, He'll end up the way they all do. Just a matter of how much damage he can do before he goes. Fuck him and every one of his enablers. Go straight to hell. Fuck me? No. Fuck you. 
Is it just me or did that sound like a threat? This is all morphing from slightly entertaining stupidity into something much more dangerous. If you're a crazed leftist who's pumped up full of hate by the media on a daily basis, you're gonna feel more and more justified in taking violent actions. I wonder if any of these blue check marks will receive a ban for inciting violence. <laughs> Next we have Judd Apatow. This lazy jerk just calls Trump Nazi garbage. Then we got Jeffrey Wright, who's a well-known Hollywood leftist, who said, genocidal language, when the reckoning come for old boy, it's coming hot. More threats from another blue check mark that won't be banned because his targets are the same targets that the CEOs of Twitter hate. Make no mistake, none of these people care about the truth. They are rationalizing all of this in their heads as a necessary evil to deal with Trump. Last night I argued about this with some of my friends that hate Trump and they were literally defending the media's deception saying that Trump is so bad that anything goes to get rid of him. You've heard me say over and over in my videos that one of the things that makes the left particularly dangerous is their ability to rationalize just about anything. If these people ever get too much power, they'll use all these same justifications to crush all dissent and opposition. It's very important that we continue to call this out, share these videos, and make sure that a good percentage of the population knows about it. So when you're done watching this video, make sure you share it and hit that like button. Thank you.